So many of you know we got a Sundancer DC freezer, uh, deep freezer recently, and it's been working great. It runs off of our old solar system, uh, the leftover solar panels and charge controller and batteries that we had in our old solar system were running only this freezer direct off of that. A couple things, I want to get these panels out of the yard <laughs> because they're just laying there and I want to be able to repurpose this stuff for other projects and so I want to hook this freezer up to our new solar system which is a 48 volt system. Our battery bank maxes out at about 55.4 volts when it's afloat and so we need to step that voltage down to 24 volts to run this freezer. Uh, can't plug this freezer into 48 volt system or it'll fry. So the way we do that we're going to install a DC buck converter. This takes 30 to 60 volts input and steps it down to 24 volts output at up to 10 amps and that's what we're going to do to hook this freezer to our new solar system. So I got this on Amazon for I think 20 bucks. It's awking waterproof DC converter. Um, it's just a cheap thing. Hopefully it works fine. Uh, there's a bunch of electronics in here that basically fucks the voltage and it's encased in this metal heat sink and you've got your uh, input wires and your output wires so pretty simple All right, I need about 45 feet of wire to run from our battery bank up over the roof of the trailer and down to the freezer. So I'm just going to use this stuff that's left over from our old solar system and yank about 45 feet of it. This is a uh, pretty good wire, so might as well use it. This is like number 10 solid THHN cable or wire, copper wire. Um, should work fine. <clears throat> Problem is there's three conductors and I only need two so I have to isolate one and not use it. All right, let's go hook up some wire. Okay, we're in float, 55.3 volts. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna shut this whole thing down and uh, wire up these two wires. All right, so this is the negative battery bus bar and then the positive battery bus bar. This is going to be a temporary setup until we get the house built. And then when I get this installed in the house, I'll have a line coming off of these bus bars into its own DC load center with uh, separate breakers. For now, this will work just fine. Alright, 
So the left side is the negative battery bus, the right side is the positive battery bus. And we're going out the top and over to the freezer. All right, now I got the wire pulled from the battery center to the freezer. And like I said, this has three conductors on it, so we have to figure out which one's positive and which one's negative. And uh, so I'm gonna go turn the system on, and then we're gonna put a meter on this and tag it. He's sad. Sad battery. Fifty five point three volts. And we know that the positive is right and the negative is right, because if we switch these, that little negative shows up. So those are the two leads. Positive, negative. Don't use this one. There you go. Twenty four point oh three. Twenty four. It's working. Okay, this is the freezer lead, the negative and the positive, and I pigtailed a fuse onto here. So if anything hinky happens, the fuse will blow. So we're going to hook her up, and hopefully the freezer works. Well, this is probably going to spark. turn on. All right, now we'll turn it up to where it was, which is right about peaches. Still frozen solid. Good to go. Now we're running off our 48 volt battery. Something to mention, uh, the reason I put this here and not at the battery bank is the potential for voltage drop. Now it's not that long of a run, but if it were a longer run, there could be voltage drop from the batteries to the appliance. Um, and so if you stepped it down at the batteries to 24, you would have potentially, you know, 19, 20 volts by, you got, by the time you got to the end. So we put the thing here, <clears throat> so we step it down here, and then it only has to go from here to here. No voltage drop. Obviously we didn't have any voltage drop. I measured it. There's 55.3 here, 24 here. We're good to go, but that's why we put the converter at the appliance and not at the battery bank. Okay, that's it. 48 volt to 24 volt through the DC buck converter. Freezer is running. Now we can uh, disconnect all this other stuff and reuse it for other projects. And just as a reminder, uh, we have shirts and mugs and all kinds of stuff. If you are interested in Gilbrook Farm merch, I'll leave a link below. And <clears throat> next video, did we make a mistake with this solar? Is it too small? It was it installed wrong? And uh, last video we did on the real truth of living off grid with solar got a lot of comments and a lot of feedback and uh, I think we didn't answer a lot of the questions so stay tuned to the next video and we'll kind of clarify that. See you then.